College degrees are becoming increasingly more important. In three years, 61% of Wisconsin jobs are going to require post-secondary education. In order to keep up with the demands of the workforce, an organization called The Cross Promise is helping students get into college. That's tonight's assignment education report. The La Crosse Regional Airport is home to two commercial airlines, which serve about 180,000 passengers a year. So how many runways are there? But the size of this facility isn't really all that important to Onalaska Luther High School senior Patrick McNamara. That's the ultimate goal. It's what's happening at the airport that has Patrick's attention. I would like to be a commercial airline pilot. But before he starts investing time and money into preparing to become a pilot, it's money. very expensive. So, Patrick yeah. is job shadowing a few employees at the airport. So an opportunity like this is hard to pass. I started working with Patrick last year when he was a junior. Haley Moe helped make this opportunity happen. Mo is a Future Center advisor at Central High School. The Future Centers were created two years ago by the organization La Crosse Promise as a resource for high school students. When a student is interested in a job shadow, they come into our office and fill out an application. Advisors then work to place students with area businesses that offer careers the teens are interested in pursuing. A job shadow is an important uh, aspect of career searching because it's going to show you or give you a connection to a, to a business professional. You have the opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one time with somebody to ask them the questions that you might not get from the internet. But future centers provide more than job shadows. They work to serve students who need help planning for life after high school. We do that in a variety of ways with helping with job applications, essays, job shadows, touring campuses. And we found that in our first two years of operation, we've had a great deal of success. Take a look at these numbers. In 2013, there was a 60% increase in the number of students meeting with Future Center advisors. There were 23% more job shadows, and 80% of the students assisted by Future Centers enrolled in a two- or four-year college. The more students that we can accompany, the, the higher the success rate. This summer, the Future Centers expanded their services by helping graduating seniors follow through with their college plans. We found that a lot of students, even though they had been accepted into college, had not necessarily got, followed through with the paperwork and the summer orientation registration and that type of thing. So we were able to really prevent 20 different students from melting over the summer or changing their mind and not following through with their goals in the fall. And this is important, as an educated population is better prepared for the workforce of tomorrow. We need to make sure that the vast majority of the students graduating from our high schools are going on for some type of two or four year secondary education. How many aviation students? College is in the plans for Patrick as he continues to research his dream of becoming an airline pilot. I think I'm even more encouraged to fly now. Because he knows post-secondary education will help his dreams take flight. The future centers are located at Central and Logan High Schools. However, the centers serve all students that live in the city of La Crosse. So families who choose to send their kids to Aquinas or Luther High Schools in Alaska can also receive services from the La Crosse Promise Pilot Program. This is the third year of, of the three-year pilot program. So since this is the third year of a third-year program, what's going to happen to those centers yeah, so next the, year? Yeah, the program was completely funded by donations. Um, and so right now they're out seeking new donations to keep this going because this, this program is completely free. Mm -hmm. And they want to be able to continue to help students um, get those, you know, get into college or any kind of post-secondary education um, so that they can continue to fulfill those dreams and they can get good jobs in the state of Wisconsin. Okay.